down, buddy. Nervous. Nervous is the right word. Oh, you got three feet, two feet, one foot. All right, you're on the ledge. <laughs> there we are. Sunday morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, probably about a half tire up from from him. So probably, I mean. Probably. I'll jump in with another vehicle. On the second day, we hit some trails early that were, needless to say, a little bit tough on our vehicles. Everybody got a little bit of damage, some worse than others. Once you get that back tire up, you're probably fine on this side. Not fast. Perfect. Yeah, fan. At this point on the trail, Brett was almost completely stuck, so we tried to get creative with some snatch blocks and using my Humvee as an anchor to pull him up the hill. First time pulling the winch out. I'll pull your winch out here in a second. He's gonna point. pull this pull Hummer up for himself. I'll pull your winch. Pull out game week. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. That was actually my first time using that winch. Well, that worked. It did not work. Luckily, nobody got hurt. We switched to a hitch mounted portable winch to finish the job. Oh, 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 we're moving. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> now it was Ryan's turn to attempt this in his Silverado 1500. Lastly, it was Kendra's turn in her Toyota Tacoma, and unbeknownst to me, this was actually her first time ever off-roading in her life. Don't let off. Keep your momentum. Hey, Ryan, you want some, some bedding tonight? Oh, it's, hey, you're a... Uh, 
your uh, ticket is promoted. Heck yeah! See what she can do. Yeah, keep it straight. Give it a give her the beans, and then come left. There you go. All right, left. Yep. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're good. Stop on this ledge. Yeah, yeah. Keep coming. You got three feet, two feet, one foot. All right, you're on the ledge. Holy cow, dude! I did not expect it huh. to do that. <laughs> He might actually be able to just make that. Wow. All right, I'm selling the Humvee and getting a forerunner. That was incredible. <laughs> Dude, that was impressive. I am so happy about that. Good drive, buddy. Completely redeemed yourself. Completely redeemed. Completely redeemed. <laughs> I, totally I, I don't know. It depends on how easy they make it look. <laughs> The old Silverado. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, I'm just... Oh, yeah. I'm worried about that side. Yeah, it touched it, but I don't think it did any damage. Hit the yeet. Alright boys, we got the old winchy out, did the smart thing, so let's see what happens. She's trying. As the sun began to set, we started to hit some more easy to moderate trails. It was a lot of fun, we got to go fast. And then as it started to get really dark, the trails started to close in with tight trees on either side and more technical sections. Oh boy. Smack that hitch. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Power! 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 Easy! 
Easy peasy. We rolled into camp that evening in the dark. Apologies I didn't get any video of us cooking food and sitting around the campfire. But let me tell you, the spot was absolutely epic. Next day we awoke to a crispy morning, about 35 degrees, but it wasn't so bad in the sun. The views were unreal. We didn't have too much time to enjoy it though. We quickly packed up as this was our last day and got ready for another day of wheeling, quickly coming up to a water crossing. Of all the crossings on the trip, this one was by far the deepest and the uh, hardest flowing current. The Humvee with its ground clearance kind of makes this look not dramatic, but I could actually feel it pulling me down the river a little bit and uh, it proved to be quite a challenge to some of the other rigs. That's the goofiest I've ever seen. At this point, Ryan Silverado was actually stuck in two-wheel drive for some reason, so it made this extra zesty. Get in that rear a little bit. Yeah, I think you have the winch too. I mean, the water's only up to the rockers, so it's not. That We've bad. got rope action that reach him. Oh yeah, there we go. He's good now. Right, you knew I only had two-wheel drive. Can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Did you make it? <laughs> yeah, some of you may be wondering how I got here. Well, it all started. I don't know. <laughs> After seeing our vehicles get yeah, washed, Brent and I got a little bit jealous, decided we'd do the same thing ourselves. It was about a crispy 50 degrees, and I don't even want to know what the water was. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> On a scale one ten, this sucks. Hit the bottom so fast. <laughs> Overall, was not a bad way at all to end the trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Everything feels good about my legs. 10 out of 10 would recommend. How cold is it right now? What, like 50 or so?